Eric Cook, boss man, before yep. it was cool. You know, there was no, there was hardly cable really that anybody cared about. Mr. Yeah, Bush. see, you and I grew up in the generation. I talk about this with my younger guests mm-hmm. all the time. Like last week we had Caitlin on, Caitlin Love. Yeah. Who's, uh-huh. you know, she's like, she's the baby. She's sweet as can be. Yeah. She's a wonderful person, but she is, she's young. Man, I remember when that, uh, you, you uh, sort of, I think it came with, uh, you, you see it in the music scene a lot, I'm sure, but yeah. I saw it in the restaurant scene, when, and you felt that generation that generation gap kind of just be apparent. You're like, whoa. Right. I don't, man, I, you know, the change has occurred real hard and real quick. It's sure. like, you know, the, right. the culture and sort of just. It's so much faster. It, it's faster in, um. Or maybe we're slower. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're slower. Uh, man, may, <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, you know, I got into it in 95. Uh, my, my brother Chris got me into it. Um, he was like, uh, you know, I looked up to him a lot. He was a hard worker. Uh, just kind of that quintessential, just dirty captain of a pirate ship type cook guy you know foul like a mouth. galley cook kind of thing yeah oh yes you know screwed up and he all was right gordon ways. ramsay before gordon ramsay was gordon ramsay or he was gordon ramsay at the same time but nobody knew about gordon ramsay maybe gordon ramsay i hope he's not didn't hear this but gordon ramsay without the uh, you know the class <laughs> 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 but uh you know he was so grimy and so you know but he had the best parties and yeah uh was the coolest dude so, so what did you do for him did you like you know what did you make his ice well uh, no, 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 no. He, he got me in. Uh, uh, it really got pretty cool with us when he got me into uh, Bennigan's, which they're, they're not around anymore. But they used to be the they used to be the shit, man. Some of Bennigan's and Steak and Ale. Back yeah, if you're, yeah. If you're kind of like a food nerd, and they learn. came back for a little bit. They did. The, and yeah, it, didn't it was last very bad. long. Yeah, it was really oh, weird. It was awful it's service like, was shit. Ah, the Why'd menu had like that? two pages, and there's only like fucking like giant pictures, and it was bizarre. Man. Yeah, it was bad. No, uh, but the, really the change occurred because uh, I was super shy. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, hide in the kitchen and scrub yeah. dishes. And, you know, you get a paycheck and then, you know, to go toward, you know, buying some drums. And, right, right. Uh, you know, have a, have a little freedom as a young dude. And yeah, just, sure. Yeah, um, it's always good to have money in your pocket. But just being super shy, uh, he, my brother kind of, he, he was like, if something's going to break this dude out of his shell, it's going to be the restaurant business. I mean, just anything weird that can go on just constantly happens and just a bunch right. of screwed up person uh personalities but when it's time for service for some reason everybody puts on the work hat and does all for the most part right things at least at that time uh, well you hope yeah and then after that it's like all right let's go get you know fucked up and have some fun and uh, uh you know it was kind of like oh it's a whole new world of like it's sort of like a subculture uh, before it was cool man you know what i mean uh, oh come on! It's always been cool to cook. I, I guess so. It's uh, always been cool to cook. It wasn't cool, man. I couldn't get a. I don't think at that time I could get pull any tail off of being a cook. It's like, what is that? The David Spill thing? It's like, oh, I can't say that. I'm not cool enough to say the N word. But motherfucker, you smell like French fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, it's so, a thin line between fries and shake. Yeah, sure. But think about it. As you got older. When like when when girls stopped being girls and became women and you know yeah. it was more of the adult mindset. Mm-hmm. Come on now, tell me you didn't cook your wife into your home, man. Uh, yes, you did. I, I, get her. I, I think I. I you drum? Did you drum her? Like you drummed her into your? Oh, home? I drummed her into my home. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's how you do it, man. You got yeah. to. Well, I mean, tell you, it's either music or food. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know uh, really, I mean, I mean and, uh, they were both sort of the kind of worked hand in hand. Oh man. That, the 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 separation between the two um, when you really think about it if if you're into those worlds that are not that far removed I mean you know right. a lot of the same lifestyles a lot of same um, you know feelings on you know the artistic side and, and the rush of uh, either being on stage or on service and performing and sure you know getting people off you know yeah I mean tr- In that, yeah yeah really exactly more than just sexually yeah yeah, yeah. like uh, well. No, sexually. We're talking about sexually. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I thought about Jeremy. With the, I hope he's doing all right. He, you, you know, he said he might call in during the top ten section. I hope he's listening right now. But I hope uh, at some point he was getting off at when, when, yeah, uh, when his the, body decided to. thermometer. Yeah. yeah. Last week he had to get like a rectal plug taken out. This week it's the thermometer. I don't know what it is. 
when he can't be here, I have to make some kind of fucking hey man, heinous joke about it's him. His, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a style, I guess. That's you know, you, you like what you like. Who am I to judge? <laughs> hey, some people like to Richard Gear themselves. I don't know. Do your thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. By the way, again, we have been picked up by Granite Coast Radio. Yes. I think we're starting this month, actually, August. I think this is going to be our first show on the Granite Coast, which uh, it's like the East Coast in Maine. Nice. Yeah, except I don't like, I don't, I don't, I love people. I don't like Patriot fans. Well, I was going to, uh, that led me to my, the first thing popped in my head. Did I speak English up there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's English. like a, English. I don't know. Some kind of, some kind of weird, <laughs> some kind of weird version of English. Yeah, I think they, I, I just imagine them staying indoors and going on the porch and not really doing anything. Yeah, it uh, wait, it, you know, so I, life I, for I them don't really stops. Know how their life is. Yeah, life for people in the New England side kind of, well, no, because then they have, they have the Red Sox, so. They do have the Red they Sox. They do have the Red Sox. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't mind Red Sox fans as much as I fucking can't stand Patriot fans. Oh, man, we got Ron. He's the only, but he's not ob- obnoxious about it. No, he's not. You know Ron's I mean? not really obnoxious about anything. No, I don't no, think. he really isn't. I, I will say this uh, on the record and for everybody here that they're the two most obnoxious sports fans are fucking Yankees fans because goddamn it, if they don't want to tell you about how twenty seven championships, I got twenty seven championships. Uh huh. I had some young fucking bitch tell me, "Oh, we got twenty seven rings." It's like, bitch, you are alive for two of them. Go fuck yourself. What do you, you mean you got? You ain't fuck you. There is maybe like a handful of people alive today who've seen all twenty-seven fucking championships. That's how I feel about die-hard uh, vegetarians. It's no, like, you know that's not please, the vegetarians. Please, you're killing me. It's not the vegetarians. Okay, so here's the thing: you want to know how you know you're in a room with a Cowboys fan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. You want to know how you know mm-hmm. you're in a room with a vegan? Don't worry, Don't worry they'll tell you. you. Good God! Second most obnoxious sports fan: Cowboys fans. And it's sad that Ty's not here to defend hey, himself what, on this yeah. one, but he's the yeah. reason why I kind of come up with this one. Because come on, cowboy fans, man, Jesus Christ! Hey, man, uh, you know I'm I'm a I'm a pretty strong Cowboys fan myself, and Ty's my best bud. But boy, he can. Oh, I love Ty to death. He, he'll even make me be like, man. Um, but were you there? <laughs> you weren't there at uh, at the Moon Tower when he got pissed off and Romo broke his back in a fucking preseason game. No, I was there when he. Uh, uh, man, I forget what game it was. They they lost. Uh, it was last season, and <laughs> literally him and Dusty. Just out of sheer, uh, like, uh, they didn't know where to put their feelings or <laughs> or energy, and they ripped their back door off its hinges. Yeah. J- uh, Joe from Merkin was there. Yeah. And he was like, I got to go. <laughs> and I fried up. Man, I was like, they got pissed off. I'm like, dude, yeah. I, I fried you chicharrones. Let's let's eat some chicharrones. It's like, no, let's take this door off the, yeah. <laughs> off yeah. the hinges. <laughs> yeah, when, when Roma went down, he threw, a, like, a table across the bar. And then Dusty's uh, voice of reason, now look, yeah, look, now look, you probably got to buy a new door. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dusty. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you're also the, uh, like, the Kickstarter for Ad Nearum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah I mean, since uh, 2000. Play with, play with the sticks. 2000 what? One, right? 2000, well, we've known each other for quite a uh, long time. Me, me and Ty go back to, man, I think the first time I met him was 94. Yeah. We, about, I think he was... You, you guys went to high school together, right? No, 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 no. We just had uh, a lot of friends out in Granbury, uh, same friends, and I would go visit them. I'm Is surprised it? they let you in Granbury. <laughs> um, I wish they wouldn't let me in <laughs> Granbury. <laughs> I have no business being there. I, I mean, I'm telling you, it's, I feel like I feel dang, I feel I don't feel safe going to Granbury, and I blend in. Oh man, if uh, I want to save this uh, this this cherry of a story for later, if we if we got some time. But oh, we got but, uh, we got plenty of time to go. I have a name for the. Uh, for the story, it's called the Hood County Donkey Punch. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. I think I may have heard this one before. I, well, you probably have, but uh, I don't, our listeners haven't. So, absolutely, yeah, we're gonna. It's yeah, a pretty good one. We're gonna tell the story. Proud moment. Yeah. Of the of the proud moments. Oh, the proud moments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I I'm have to. I've got to tell you to uh, don't forget to uh, tune into the Jay Stone Show. That's on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can go to rockmetaltalk.com and vote. For the Jay Stone show, he's like nominated for six different categories and some coastal uh, awards. Very nice. Represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Uh, you can tweet us at the plot hole one. That's at the plot hole one number one, not spelled out. Because apparently we're not the only plot hole. Fucking assholes. Do, do we get a? Um, we got any tweeters, callers, or anything? Like Every that? now and again, we get some tweeters and callers. Every now and again, I yeah. get. 
so like if we get lonely, can we just call just call people? We could fucking prank call some motherfuckers. Oh man, it's been t- does, uh, it's what been it? too long. Star sixty nine, does that still work? I don't know. I think that every phone nowadays has like its own. Yeah, you're you're screwed. You're screwed either you way. Can, you can't do anything. No, it's fun not anymore. Fun. Yeah, no shit, man. You know the old days when telephones had cords. Yeah, Star sixty nine was a uh, revolution for the ori- uh, the original prankers, the OPs. Yeah. yeah. The OPs. Yeah. Is it Star six? That's not Star, Star sixty nine. Star, Star sixty nine was call like back. call back. Star six seven, seven was block, block number. number. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah. Because yeah, that Star six nine came out. Everybody's like, oh fuck, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Mm-hmm. Uh, Star six seven. What the fuck is that? Fucking gold. Yeah. Man, oh man. We sit around and do the the uh the you you won on the like game shows on the on the radio like Y ninety five or oh, Q one oh two. Do like, you remember when Q one oh two went out of business? You remember when Q one oh two went out the first time when it, it became the edge? No, no, no. It was <laughs> that no, no, it, it no, turned no. into Zoo, right? I think Zoo turned into. Q one oh two. Q one oh two turned into some some it was a it was a Latino station for a little bit. And then the Edge took it over one oh two one. The Edge took that band way over. Hmm. But when they were going I remember this shit because I was I think it was I was it was like right at ninety nine. I was still in high school. Mm-hmm. And like the DJs had Ben and Skin on there. Not the same Ben and Skin that's on one oh five, but different Ben they were like No, it wasn't who the fuck was it? I can't remember who it was, but it was a morning show host, and they were just randomly calling people, promising them, like, fucking tickets to God knows what. <laughs> like, they called somebody up, told them there's a Beatles reunion. Like, yeah, you just want tickets to the Beatles reunion. Come down to the station and ask for your 10 tickets to the whatever. <laughs> did you they know. come down? Apparently, a lot of people fucking showed up for that shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they did all kinds, like Metallica's coming to town. Come down to Q102 and get your tickets. Do some shit like that now. Well, yeah. well, the, the shit, what is it, the... Uh, uh, it's a prank, bro. It's a prank. You, you, you almost like kill somebody. It's a prank. Oh fuck, man! You Dude, saw that too, right? Have you seen that one where the guy he uh, dress out up like the uh, Allah Akbar jihad dude, and he throws his backpack and that's fucking just, freaks everybody out? That's just not okay. Like, that's good not okay, God, man. <laughs> that's not okay. No, 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 it's a prank. I get it, it's no, a prank. No, you're good. <laughs> no, 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 look, camera over there. No, it, yeah, it's a prank. I'm about to whoop both of your yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's just not okay for more for so many reasons. Yeah, I'm one for prank. I love good prank, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like that fucking guy who dressed up as snowman, scares shit at people. Uh, yeah, that oh, yeah. That guy's good. You know, there's no like fucking racist stigma about a snowman. Okay, but I gotta say though, when they <laughs> let the goat loose with the <laughs> with the dynamite strapped on him, that's kind of <laughs> look. I'm not saying it's not funny. I'm not saying I didn't laugh. It's it's not that it's not funny. It's just not right. It's not right. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I hear yeah. you there. <laughs> I mean, a because motherfucker, you're taking a big risk. Yeah, you you notice how he doesn't do that shit in like Texas or N- it's nah, in New York man. only. You don't want to do that because yeah. them yeah. motherfuckers aren't packing. Well, mm-hmm. Some of them are, but they're not supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You come down to the south where every motherfucker's got a gun. That shit ain't you. That motherfucker walking down the street in that garb gonna get shot. Yeah, you got yourself a real problem on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do that shit in Texas. Don't fucking <laughs> backpack on a bus in Texas like that. Uh-uh. That motherfucker be full, so full of holes. It's a prank. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? Well, what did you say? What was that you said there, boy? He's not saying anything. He's not saying nothing. He must not. <laughs> man. He, uh, he said, Allah, I'll walk by. That's what he said. <laughs> motherfucker tried to blow me up on Sunday. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. I got shit to do. That's right. Shit. I got to go to Sunday school and, uh, <laughs> you know, I got to go teach my boys how to fillet a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> fillet a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Good. Yeah. What do you got going on? And you're doing the you're doing the food truck thing now. You said fuck a bunch of fuck a bunch of restaurants. I'm tired no, of doing well, Ados. I'm tired of doing, you know, I'm tired of doing fucking Rodeo Go. By the way, if you haven't been to Rodeo Go, if you didn't go to Rodeo Go during its, it's uh, prime, that's when, you know, Executive Chef Keith was basically building a place from nothing and made it what it is today. But it's different now. They, like, changed a bunch of stuff. It's not I don't know, good. man. Uh, honestly, I've been back twice. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I was with the the company for 14 years, and you know, I love those guys. I lar- I learned a, a great deal about being a professional from them. But you know, after 14 Stagnant, years, like a yeah. lifetime. Yeah. Well, especially and, when you're only you know 20. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's all through your. Yeah. Your, um, well, you I mean you started with them in your 20s, right? You were like 21, 22 when you started at. 
I was 20. 20, yeah. Yeah, two, uh, in 2000. And then uh, moved on at, at four, um, yeah, 2014. And after that, you went to Fred's for a little bit, like.